Welcome back to Parent Guide. Today we will be looking at a sample schedule to get you ready to make your own. I'm going to be going over some key elements of a great schedule that will help provide you with some order and peace in your family. The goal here is not for me to tell you what to put in your schedule, it's to give you an idea of what one would look like. You need to think about the reality of your situation. So what are the ages of your children? Do both parents have to work um, from home all day long or are, are you working part-time from home? Um, and really, what do you intend to get, get out of this time uh, with your family at home? So looking at the schedule, I have color-coded it to show the periods of time when adults and children spend time together and when adults and children spend time independently, meaning the child is engrossed in some sort of work, uh, independently playing, they are maybe taking a nap, or they have some technology time. And this is a time where you as an adult would be doing your, your job um, or doing some chores or resting or having your own technology time. Now, your schedule is gonna look different depending on if your child is 18 months as opposed to a 10 year old. A 10 year old might have some uh, review work from their school that they should try to at least give some effort to get done, but please don't stress over these things. If you do have a younger child, you might set up your office area in the same room in, a, you know, in the corner and so you can see and be available if they need you. The goal is to encourage them to play by themselves while you are doing your work time. If they need assistance, you can help them and then return back to your work. It's surprising how long a toddler in a preschool can work independently if the environment is set up properly and the parent encourages that, that independence. You know what else is great about a schedule? I bet that your children beg for food and technology constantly. And if you have a schedule, you can just simply refer them back to the, the eating times and the technology time. If you put your schedule on a poster board or a whiteboard and add symbols and colors so that it's easy for um, whatever age child you have to refer back to the schedule, and voila, there you go. Remember, it is healthy and beneficial for a child to spend some time by themselves working independently, just as it is for you to spend some time working independently or relaxing. And having a schedule allows you to see that you're spending adequate time for your with your ch children and not to feel guilty. The child might take some time to get used to the new schedule, but if you're firm and loving and consistent, they'll get to know the new expectations and go right along with it. 